What is up ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about what's new in tvOS 9.2 beta 1. So the big headlining feature for this new tvOS beta is the presence of Bluetooth keyboard support. Yes, I'm talking about physical Bluetooth keyboard support. Just go into settings, remote and devices, and then you should see Bluetooth under the other devices heading. So click that, turn on your Bluetooth keyboard, tvOS should then recognize that Bluetooth keyboard after you click the connect button on your keyboard. And then you just wanna click on the Bluetooth keyboard that it recognizes. You're gonna see a pairing request. So all you do is you just type the little code in there on your keyboard and it's paired. It's that simple folks, super simple, super easy. And I can actually control my Apple TV using the Bluetooth keyboard. Of course you can input text obviously. Um, so that's really cool, it makes typing much easier. Now let's talk about this. You can actually create folders now by tapping and holding on the touch surface there, the little clicky part of the Siri remote, and then just dragging an icon over another icon. It'll create a folder just like it does on your iPad or your iPhone. Uh, and you can go into that folder. You can actually rename the folder just by uh, swiping up to the little naming section here. And we're not gonna do that, so let's go back. All right, let's go back down. Let me show you how to remove an icon from a folder. So you basically go back into wiggle mode here. So let's go back out and you just press and hold on the touch surface. All right, and then just drag it. It's kind of hard because you don't have that much room on the uh, Siri remote, but just drag it out of the folder. We're gonna go back into this one here and we're going to click on the touch surface and just drag out like that. Just like you do on iOS, it's a little more difficult because you're using a, a remote instead of direct input, one-to-one -one input, but it does work. Now let's talk about this, the app switcher. It's been redesigned, and I know I've heard some complaints about this, that people don't like it, but I actually think it's pretty cool. It looks really good, and it seems a little snappier to me. Maybe that's a placebo thing, um, but it does seem snappier. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Um, so that is the new redesigned app switcher. And last but not least, you already see it here. Of course, I'm talking about the podcast app. So this will actually take all of the podcasts you have synced on iOS and it'll pull everything right in. Of course, you can add new podcasts. You can browse uh, the library or, or the iTunes library for podcasts. You can play them, obviously. Um, and you can also click and check out the show notes, even though they're terribly formatted. It looks terrible there. Uh, so that's not something you're probably going to want to use or even look at. Um, but, you know, it's a podcast app, it's nice to have it. I still want the podcast app for the Apple Watch. Where is that Apple? Please give us that. But overall, I'm pretty excited about this release. Uh, TVOS 9.2 Beta 1 is a solid new release. It adds at least one new feature that a lot of people have been clamoring for, that being, of course, Bluetooth keyboard input. That makes it super easy to type um, quickly. And I actually appreciate typing on the physical Bluetooth keyboard more so than even the remote app for iOS. It's just so much easier to type on a physical keyboard and quickly get results you're looking for like this. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the tvOS 9.2 beta 1 update? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're a developer, you can update as well. You'll just need one of these right here, a USB type C cable. Folks, leave me a like down below if you appreciated this walkthrough. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.